Welcome back. This is End Time Evangelist. The Lord bless you. I want us to talk about miscellaneous causes. There are what they call miscellaneous causes. There are so many causes in your life today that you don't know their sources. You are praying for some things. You are praying for headache and you are having malaria. You are praying for malaria and you are having stomach pain. You are praying for stomach pain and you are having kidney problem. This is, a, this is happening because the causes that are following you have so many sources. So I want to review to you what is called miscellaneous causes. And I pray that by the end of this message, the Lord will give you revelation that will empower you to fight and defeat and overcome every problem of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Spirit of God will help you to break through every causes that is affecting your life in the name of Jesus. So what is miscellaneous causes? One, miscellaneous cause is that cause that you placed upon yourself by yourself. When Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1, it says, in the beginning was the world. No, John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the world. The world was with God and the world was God. If you now go to the book of Genesis, the beginning of all things, the Bible says, by the spoken of the word, everything was created. The Bible says, let there be light that was light. Let there be darkness that was darkness. Let there be a firmament that was firmament. Let there be this, let there be that. Everything that God created was by the use of the world. So whenever you open your mouth and you curse yourself, that is the miscellaneous cause. Uh, the people are saying, ah, uh, there is poverty in the country, there is a uh, hunger in the country. You say, eh, eh, in my family, the hunger is too much. In fact, if, if everybody is dying, the poverty in my family is too much. The poverty is killing us. In fact, my own condition is worse. My own, my own situation is worse than your own. Anything you say negative against your own self is called miscellaneous cause. You opening your mouth and you saying negative things, you are causing yourself. As a child of God, you are expected to confess positive. As a child of God, you are expected to be a soldier. As a child of God, you are expected to be like Christ, who is always confident and calm, even when situations and circumstances are not favorable. As a child of God, no matter the conditions you are going through, you should not place costs upon yourself. Some parents will send their children and maybe they waste time or they do something wrong, they'll start cursing the children. They say, vehicle will kill you on the way. Ogu will kill you. This will kill you. This will hurt you. You are cursing your children. You are cursing your own life. Miscellaneous curse. Somebody will ask you, do you have money? They say, well, I don't have any money. My bank account is very empty. Ah, poverty is dealing with me seriously. Ah, hardship is dealing with me seriously. In fact, my own condition, I don't even know where to compare it to. You are cursing yourself. That is the miscellaneous cause. Whenever you are going through hard times, it's possible God is letting it happen to you for training. God may allow it so that devil can use that medium to test you. Don't forget that when devil tested Job, God placed bets on Job without Job's knowledge. God was boasting of Job because he was proud of Job. He was sure of Job. And Satan said, okay, because you are blessing. And God he said, Can allow me to remove the protections and the blessings you have given him and see if it will not cost you. And God gave Satan go ahead. Only he said, do not touch his life. Remember that when Job was tested, he didn't fail God. He didn't curse God. Even when all his family and his friends left him, he still remained loyal to God. And he didn't curse God. What I'm trying to say is that no matter what the conditions you find yourself in, do not speak negative words against yourself. Because any negative words you speak will bounce back at you. Because there is power in spoken word. So you need to be very careful what comes out of your mouth. Now, that is one. Second way a miscellaneous curse can come upon your life is causes that are placed upon you by random people. There are some of you today that you, you used to be a rapist. You used to rape people, rape sisters, and in a community, they knew you as a rapist. And at a time, you left the place without making things right with those people you have hurt in the past. And anybody you raped 
he, his or her daughter or any sister you raped, that sister will place curse on you. Even I won't have time to show you in the Bible where even Bible talks against you raping a sister. Because when you rape a sister, the Bible says that sister you have defied, you have to marry her. And there are some consequences that follow it. So when you rape somebody as a, as a brother or when you rape a brother as a sister, there are consequences that follow you. Some of you may think that it's only brothers that rape sisters. Sisters equally rape brothers. So when you rape somebody and you didn't restitute, the curses they have placed on you will follow you anywhere you go. You might be going from one prayer house to another, not knowing that the people you have offended behind you have placed curses upon you. That is miscellaneous curses. They call it miscellaneous courses. Courses that are coming from random people that you have offended in the past and you couldn't make things right with them. And you continue with your life thinking that it doesn't matter. But you have hurt somebody. You have defied somebody. You have taken the dignity and the virtue of a person. That person will place curse upon you and in a, such a manner that God himself will be angry at you. So if you are such a person that you used to rape people or you have raped people in the past or you have promised you have raped a sister or defined a sister and you promised the sister that you are going to marry her but you ended up marrying another person. In most cases, you end up marrying the person close to that sister as a friend. Do you think that such sister will forgive you because you have taken her virginity, you have defied her and then you go ahead and dump her? They will place curse on you and that curse will follow you. Because you made a promise. Do not make a vow you cannot redeem. That is another way Miss Lano's curse can follow you as a child of God. These curses don't, don't, don't only happen to a Christian. It can happen to both believers and unbelievers. Do you understand? So you need to be careful how you live your life. That is another way Miss Lano's curse can come upon your life. You hurt people in the past. Number one, I said, you curse you cursing yourself by confessing negative. You placing curses upon yourself by confessing negative. No matter the conditions you go through, do not be negative in your use of words. Because saying things negative, you are cursing yourself. I said, second is curses placed on you by the people you have offended in the past. By the people you have hurt in the past and you couldn't restitute. Another miscellaneous curse number three. Another way miscellaneous curse can come upon your life is by people that hate you. People just hate you for no just reason. Things are going well for you. The Lord has blessed you. The Lord has favored you. You have found favor in the, in the eyes of God. And God has richly blessed you. And then you travel to the village to see your people. And then you try to be of blessing to them because God has blessed you. You begin to give money. You begin to buy clothes. Some people even buy, go ahead, buy a bag of rice, bag of beans. Whatever it is, you may give to people of your, of your village, in the, uh, people in, your, in the village. Those of you that live in the city, maybe on Christmas time, or those that celebrate Christmas, or is those that celebrate Easter. Or you just travel home to see your family, and you give some gift. Not knowing that some of these people are witches and wizards. They are not happy with your success. They are not happy that God has blessed you. And they will go in their sticky chamber. They have shrine. They have uh, covens where they submit your name for destruction. They begin to place curses on you. These curses work. It work. The reason is because you are not aware. That's why as a Christian, you need to be very prayerful. And it works mostly against those who are not in Christ. You have done good thing. You have done a good thing by helping people, trying to be nice and generous. But then, you are not in Christ. You have no knowledge. You are still living in the world. You don't have much as the knowledge of giving your life to Christ and living a holy and righteous life. But you are blessed. Such causes will work against you. You help people and they will use it against you. They place causes upon you for no reason. They will place causes of, pov causes of poverty, causes of barrenness. You have a wife, they say your wife will not marry. And the reason they will get you is because we have given them something. So they will use that gift to come at you. They can use it in the kingdom of darkness to come at you as a point of contact. That's why before you help people, 
you need to be very, very careful. These witches and wizards in the villages that you think they love you, they are smiling at you, you think that they are, they are happy with what God has made you to become. They may not truly be of clean heart towards you. The blessings God has given you, the open door God has made in your life, they are against it. So they will use it against you. You are helping a sister, you are helping a brother, an elderly person in the village, not knowing that he is a wizard, she is a witch, and they will use that help against you. That is another way Miss Lana Cross can come upon your life. Do you understand? So before you help people, make sure that you cover it with the blood of Jesus. You see, whatever you are giving people, clothes, money, bags, beans, rice, yams, even vehicle, whatever you are buying for people in the villages, make sure you cover it with the blood of Jesus. Another way miscellaneous cost can come upon your life is by giving arms. So many people have given arms today and that has destroyed their wealth. Before you give arms to people on the street, make sure you cover your money with the blood of Jesus. Some motherless homes where those institutions that they do, uh, they have, they have charity organizations, and then they go to motherless homes, they go to prisons, they, they visit people. Some of these institutions you go to help are established by the devil to take away and swallow destinies. So you need to be laid by God before you give arms or before you do philanthropy, because many organizations today are demonically established. Satan is using many means to trap people and send them to hellfire. Satan is using many ways to capture people's glory and bury them in his kingdom. So before you give arms or before you help any institutions at all that need help, you need to allow God to lead you. The Bible says those who are laid by God, they are the sons of God. Those who are laid by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So you should be laid by the Spirit of God. Whichever arms you want to give, whichever help you want to give, cover your money with the blood of Jesus, cover the property with the blood of Jesus, so that the enemies will not use those means to cost your life. Many of you, you were rich before, but you start helping people, and then you start coming down, you start going poverty. It's because demons and people, and human beings who are being used by the devil, are placing causes upon your life. So I needed to reveal this to you, and I believe that you understand what it means to have a miscellaneous cause upon your life. There are other ways miscellaneous causes can come upon your life, but I want to stop here. I pray this video will help you, and this video will bless your life and empower you to be more prayerful in your Christian journey in the name of Jesus. Please, before you go, I want you to learn this lesson from this video that you don't do anything without seeking the face of God. You don't give arm without covering the money with the blood of Jesus and fire of the Holy Ghost. When you cover your money with the blood of Jesus and fire of the Holy Ghost, God will go ahead and fight against anyone that will use the money for evil. Another lesson you need to learn, those of you that go to the villages, you should understand that many people in the villages, they don't love you, they don't care about you, they are not happy about your success. They may smile at you, they may smile with you, they may rejoice with you, but in their heart, they don't love you. The Bible says, in the book of Jeremiah, I said, the heart of man is desperately wicked who can understand it. So you cannot understand the heart of man. That means you shouldn't trust anybody in the village. You shouldn't even trust anybody at all. You should trust only God. Because only God can keep you safe. Whatever it is you want to give to people, make sure you pray on it and decree some declarations of God's power. That anybody that wants to use this against me, let it backfire. Don't pray for somebody to die. Say, God should fight for you. You are giving arms, you are doing a good job. You are helping people, you are doing a good job. But if people try to use it against you, pray that the Lord should fight for you and redeem you. Redeem your glory, redeem your destiny. The Lord should not allow the evil people to hinder you from moving forward in life because you, are, you have helped people. Do you understand? Don't give arms. Don't forget. Take it as a lesson. Don't give arms, not covering your money with the blood of Jesus. Don't help people, not praying on the things you want to help them with. Whichever way you want to help people, commit it in the hands of God. You are doing a good thing. Don't give up doing that. But make sure you are led by the Holy Spirit. So you don't make me say that will cost you even your heaven. As you do so, the Lord bless you. 
please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this like the video share the videos and your comment matters a lot as you do so lord bless you in the name of jesus let's grow this community together and bring people to the righteousness and holiness of god shalom all right